morning my dear students welcome back once again to the english online classes and today i'm going to conclude this chapter with the discussion of a few questions which are there in the textbook for you to solve i'll be letting you know the points that have to be written in the answers and then i would like you to create your own answers and very humble request please don't go for any kind of refreshers and all it should be your own prepared answer please give yourself a chance you have been studying all these years in an english medium school let your capacity and caliber be polished don't depend on spoon feeding so as we people have seen in the previous three videos of this chapter for which let us have a quick recall that we have seen that we are talking about the grandmother of kushwan singh in the first video we people have seen that he spoke about how it was disturbing or revolting for him uh, to believe that his grandmother could be young and pretty once because she had always been an old lady from the time he had seen her and the physical beauty is been mentioned over there in the very second paragraph where he seems uh, to be uh, using the word beautiful to describe his grandmother as the grace calmness peace and contentment was spread over her face then we have seen in the third para the face in which he and his grandmother had spent the time in a village and their village life has been explained where they had been called to be good friends uh, spending maximum time with each other with grandmother getting him ready for school getting his things ready sing in the sing song manner saying the prayers and then fee, uh, getting his uh, wooden slate prepared and feed getting him uh, the breakfast ready and then we have seen both of them going to the school and while he sits in the school she sits in the temple reading the scriptures and coming back time they both used to feed the village dogs the left out stale chapatis then we have seen the turning point in their friendship when they came to the city as the parents of kushwan singh were settled down and wanted uh, kushwan singh and the grandmother to be in the city house there in the city house Uh, she was not having any stray or the village dog so she took to feeding the sparrows and uh, from here onwards their life started changing because he started going to an english school definitely in the beginning she used to wake him up and get him ready but she was not able to help him with his lessons as he was thought something which was uh, not familiar to her english words loss of signs etc etc and she was highly depressed with the fact that they were not teaching anything about god and scriptures and the most devastating or the most um, heartbreaking thing for her was that they were going to be given music lessons which according to her was not meant for her grandson who belonged to a good family and then we have seen that the common link of friendship was also broken means the room as he went to the university he was given a separate room but the grand lady she seems to be a very strong lady she accepted this loneliness and that too with resignation is very quietly she accepted it and she started devoting her life or she started having other things in her life the first one was spinning the wheel from sunrise to sunset and second thing was reciting the prayers while doing so and the third one was in the afternoon for half an hour she used to sit in the veranda and feed the sparrows then the next change you cannot say change but the next thing that happened was the author decided to go to abroad for further studies and that was for long 5 years and he was very sure that there was a very rare chances of him seeing his grandmother again back because she was quite old she came to leave him in this uh, to the station she was very strong she never showed any sentiments she was busy reciting her prayers telling the beads of her rosary she kissed him on his forehead and he thought that maybe that is the last sign of physical contact but surprises were waiting for him he came back home after five long years and there she was the old lady in the station to receive him as usual no talking only the lips were moving and he understood it were reciting the prayers when she 
clasped him, hugged him. And then that day also when he arrived, her happiest moment was as usual. In the veranda, feeding the sparrows. But that day, for a little long while she did, more than half an hour. And she had been scolding them every now and then. That's what we have done in the previous three videos. Let's come to the concluding part of this chapter. In the evening, a change came over her. She did not pray. She collected the women of the neighborhood, got an old drum and started to sing. For several hours, she thumped the sagging skins of the dilapidated drum and sang of the homecoming of various. We had to persuade her to stop, to avoid overstraining. That was the first time since I had known her that she did not pray. Okay, in the evening, there was something very unusual done by the grand lady. She did not pray. The person whom Kushwan Singh had known from quite long years, whose lips never stopped praying, that evening she did not pray. Instead of that, you know what she did? She collected the women of the neighborhood. And then, God knows from where, she arranged an old drum and started to sing. For several hours, she thumped, means hitting the sides of the drum, means it was a dholak. And she thumped the sagging skins of the dilapidated drum. It was an old drum. And you people might be knowing that the place of the drum which has been beaten up or which has been thumbed in the correct terminology, uh, it is having a skin, it is a skin. And when it turns old, it becomes loose. So that's why it has been said, sagging skins of the dilapidated. Dilapidated means very old, uh, literally um, ruined or gone, good for nothing type. And the sagging skins of the dilapidated drum, she had been thumping that. And she sang the song of the homecoming of various. I know you will be thinking that what do you mean by homecoming of various and what connection it has got to do with here, this chapter. Actually, homecoming of various here means uh, the her author came after five years from abroad. So it was just like a, just a, Yudh se vapas aate hain jab sainik. So, Geet Gaya Jata Hai, Victory Song. Here also, uh, it was a kind of a victory song of homecoming of warriors. The family, they persuaded her, means they forced her to stop singing because she was overstraining herself. Yeah, obviously, in that age, sitting down for hours, thumping the drum, singing song was really a uh, very stressful thing. Uh, she was training herself a lot. She was exhausting herself a lot. And because of that reason, the family said not to do further. And Kushwan Singh says that this was the first time he had seen his grandmother not praying. The next morning, she was taken ill. It was a mild fever. And the doctor told us that it would go. But my grandmother thought differently. She told us that her end was near. She said that since only a few hours before the close of the last chapter of her life, she had omitted to pray, she was not going to waste any more time talking to us. The next morning, what was expected or what they were frightened of, that happened. She was ill. They called the doctor. Doctor said, mild fever, it will go away. But you know how it is. We all are having one sixth sense, which, which gives us, and especially those who are about to die, you might have seen um, that they do something very odd or they speak something very odd, like as if though they have seen the death on the doorstep. So here the grandmother, though the doctor said that it's just mild fever and it will get all right soon, she was not ready to agree to that. She thought in a different manner. And she said to them that her end was near. Yeah, she was going to die. And she said that because few hours before the death, she omitted praying and the chapters of her life book is going to end up. She didn't want to waste any more time talking to any of them. 
she wants to pray we protested but she ignored our protest she lay peacefully in bed praying and telling her beads even before we could suspect her lips stopped moving and the rosary fell from her lifeless fingers a peaceful pallor spread on her face and we knew that she was dead they said to take a rest but she said my end is near i want to pray i don't want to talk to you people they all protested but she ignored and there she was lying peacefully on the bed praying and telling the beads of her rosary Kushan Singh says that even before the family could understand what happened, her lips stopped moving and the rosary fell down on the floor from her lifeless fingers. There was peaceful pallor over her face. A very peaceful expression was there on her face. And the grand lady, she was no more in this world. she was dead now the last para my dear students is the most beautiful one and you can say that it collects everything that is there in the chapter here only is the one where the love between the grand lady the old lady between the grandmother and the sparrows is beautifully been described we lifted her off the bed and as is customary laid her on the ground and covered her with a red shroud after a few hours of mourning we left her alone to make arrangements for her funeral in the evening we went to her room with a crude stretcher to take her to be cremated the sun was setting and had lit her room and veranda with a blaze of golden light we stopped halfway in the courtyard all over the veranda and in her room right up to where she lay dead and stiff wrapped in the red shroud thousands of sparrows had scattered on the floor there was no tripping we felt sorry for the birds and my mother fetched some bread for them she broke it into little crumbs the way my grandmother used to and threw it to them the sparrows took no notice of the bread when we carried my grandmother's corpse off they flew away quietly next morning the sweeper swept the bread crumbs into the dustbin the entire beauty of the chapter lies in this last para you see how it is after the grandmother died they took her off from the bed and as is the custom they make her corpse her dead body lay on the ground and covered it with a red shroud shroud here means kafan bolte hai na jise a cloth and for few hours after few hours of mourning here spelling you see it's m o u r n i n g it's not m o r n i n g though they both sound same but they mean different m o u आर एन आई एन जी मॉर्निंग मीन्स वो दुख का समय जो होता है दैट इज़ वॉट इट इज आफ्टर अ फ्यू मोमेंट्स ऑफ क्राइंग एंड ऑल दोज हार्ट फेल्ट सॉरोफुल मोमेंट्स दे ऑल लेफ्ट हर अलोन मीन्स द बॉडी वॉज लाइंग डाउन देअ एंड दे ऑल वेंट अवे टू मेक अरेंजमेंट्स फॉर द फ्यूनरल फॉर हर फॉर बर्निंग हर बॉडी एंड ऑल द अदर रिचुअल्स इन द इवनिंग दे अगेन वेंट बैक टू हर रूम विद अ क्रूड स्ट्रेचर अर्थी बोलते हैं जैसे आप लोग जैसे बैम्बू वगैरह से बनाया जाता है एंड शी वॉज सपोज टू बी टेकन फॉर क्रीमेशन फॉर द रिचुअल्स फ्यूनरल पर्पज द सन वॉज सेटिंग एंड हर रूम वॉज लिटेड अप समवॉट विद द गोल्डन लाइट ऑफ द सेटिंग सन एंड देन सडनली दे ऑल स्टॉप्ड दे वेर हाफ वे थ्रू द कोट यार्ड एंड दे स्टॉप्ड यू नो वाई बिकॉज फ्रॉम the veranda till her room where she was lying down dead wrapped in the red shroud thousands of sparrows were sitting on the floor and 
you remember i told you if two birds come and sit down somewhere near your window or anywhere how much noise they make they keep on chirping but here thousands of sparrows were spread from the veranda to the room where her dead body was lying down and not even a single noise amazing no yes they were not chirping they were very quiet they were really sorry on the death of the grand lady and then the family felt like as if though the birds had come as usual so the mother of the narrator she brought some bread and broke it into the same manner in the same manner how grandmother used to do the small bits and she threw it front of the birds sparrows they took no notice of the bread they were quiet not even a single piece any sparrow picked up and when they carried the grandmother's corpse dead body away all the sparrows flew away quite quietly and the next day morning the sweeper the maybe the servant he swept the room and all the bread crumbs he collected and threw it into the dustbin my dear students this is what i was talking about a love an untold unconditional love between two creation one human one bird and love is not having any boundaries and everyone has got their own way to express you see the sparrows how they express their love and gratitude for the grandmother the person who fed them maybe for years they were all quiet in thousands they were spread around but not even a single sparrow made noise they paid their homage this is what is love this is what is the bond and this is what the chapter is all about i hope you all have understood the entire chapter and you all are comfortable with my way of explanation coming to the portion that is questions as you can see it is understanding the text before i go for it i hope you all might have purchased the textbook by now because in the very first video i have given you the details about the books let's continue with the question mention the three phases of the author's relationship with his grandmother before he left the country to study abroad see the question carefully it's given three phases of the author's relationship with his grandmother before he left the country to study abroad now when we talk about these three phases the first thing is that it is given mention my dear students whenever in the question it is given mention or list try to give answers in points so you will be having three points in this answer the first point is about the village life in very short you have to write down village life where they both stayed together they are good friends she used to wake him up in the morning get him ready for school used to sing the prayers then get his things ready then feed him stale chapati and they both used to go he used to study and she used to sit down in the temple reading the scriptures second one is when they came back to the city they both shared the same room for first few years or maybe few days she got him ready sent him to the school but could not go to leave him could not understand the lessons and was not happy with the way he learned third point is when he reached to the university and they were given separate rooms and she started spending her life spinning the wheel reciting the prayers feeding the sparrows now the next question please <coughs> remember that you must have these points which i have discussed right now in the answer while you are preparing the answers for the question these are all 30 to 40 words answer so you have to write down in the shortest of way using commas but be careful when you are framing the sentence second question 
three reasons why the author's grandmother was disturbed when he started going to the city school. Okay, it's given in the very third page of the textbook of this lesson. The first para itself, I'll just show you that para. Yes, the para in which when he used to come back from school, he would tell her that what all things were taught in the schools like English words, Western science, law of gravity. And the first point why she was disturbed was that she could not help him with his lessons. The second point which was there was no teaching about God and scriptures. And the third point why she was upset was he was given music lessons and according to her music had lewd association. And was meant for her lords and beggars, not for gentle folks. Gentle folks, huh? Saying folks, it will be sounding like F-O-X, folks, F-O-L-K-S it is actually. Then going to the next question. Three ways in which the author's grandmother spent her days after he grew up. Yeah, there, when he got the, when he um, got the separate room and he went to the university. Yeah, the three points are. First one, from sunrise to sunset, she used to be busy spinning the wheel. Third, second point, reciting prayers while spinning the wheel. And the very third point is, what it is? Yes, it is in the afternoon for half an hour, sitting in the veranda, feeding the sparrows. Okay. The next question is the odd way in which the author's grandmother behaved just before she died. This creates a little confusion. Just before she died, two things could be there. Because the previous evening she behaved in an odd manner and definitely before dying also she behaved. So what we will do is that we will take both the aspects. First we will say that in the evening, the day author arrived from abroad, she collected the women of the neighborhood and thumping the sagging skin of a dilapidated drum, sang Song of Homecoming of Warriors. She fell sick the next day. Doctor said mild fever, but she considered it to be end of her life. So, since she omitted praying the previous day, she decided to pray and not to talk to anyone. Fifth one, the way in which the sparrows expressed their sorrow when the author's grandmother died. The very last para in which the sparrows collected from halfway from the veranda to the room where the corpse of the grandmother was lying stiff wrapped in red shroud. There was no chipping. They paid no attention to the breadcrumbs given to them by the author's mother and when the corpse was carried, they silently flew away. This is how they express their sorrow at the grandmother's death. Now talking about the text. Few of the questions which have to be discussed with me and definitely a few to be written on your own. The first one is, the author's grandmother was a religious person. What are the different ways in which we come to know this? There are many points in the chapter. When we will see the second paragraph of the chapter, there we can see that it is given that her one hand used to be busy telling the beads of the rosary and her um, lips are continuously moving in inaudible prayer. The next one, while dressing him up, she used to sing song the prayer in the same monotonous manner. Then it is given that while uh, spinning the wheel, she recites the prayer. When she came to leave the author and she kissed him, before that also she was busy reciting the prayer and when he came back and she hugged him, he could hear her lips still moving, reciting the prayers. And when she realized that her end was near, she wanted to engage those moments in prayer. Which language... I'm extremely sorry. This question is, describe the changing relationship between the author and his grandmother. Did their feelings for each other change? Changing relationship from where you will take? Yes. From that para where the turning point is mentioned. So you have to mention how the turning point came in their life when they came to the city. 
house. Uh, he was started going to the English school. She could not help him in the lesson, and she was very upset with the English medium studies, English school of studies. And then we have to say that how when he went to the university, the common link was snapped, and then she got busy with spinning wheels, reciting prayers, and feeding the sparrows. Do you think that their feelings changed? No, the feelings didn't change. How you can say so? She came to leave him in the railway station, kissed him on the forehead. She came to receive him at the railway station and clasped him or hugged him. And in the evening, she showed her happiness by uh, thumping the sagging skin of an old drum and singing song of the home coming of the valley. Third one. Would you agree that the author's grandmother was a person strong in character? If yes, give instances that show this. Two points are there. First one, when he went to university and a separate room was given, she accepted her loneliness with resignation. She didn't say anything. And the second one is that when he, it was decided that he has to go abroad for five years, she didn't move off. She was very quiet and she showed no sentiments. Now, the fourth one is totally yours. That is, have you known someone like the author's grandmother? Do you feel the same sense of loss with regard to someone whom you have loved and lost? Totally person, personal. And I hope, my dear students, that you will take my words seriously and prepare the notes at the earliest. And very soon you will receive the PDF of the extra questions of this chapter. Till then, goodbye.